You performed an Usher song tonight without you. What would you say was the most challenging part about this song? Um, well, the challenge is that he's sitting right there. So the challenge is to not let your nerves like get the best of you. But um, yeah, I connected it to my, my loved ones and um, my supporters, and that really helped me get focused on it. Right, and it was for your fiance, right? Yes, my love, it was for him, yeah. Right. That's amazing. So you think it has more meaning to you maybe when you relate it to somebody in your life as opposed to when you just sing a song? Well, no, absolutely. If you can find a connection in it, then um, you're not necessarily you know, trying to please people, but you're really just trying to tell the story. Right. And so now Adam mentioned that he lost you to Shakira. Do you think that if you stayed with Adam, that he would have brought you this far? Um. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Me and Shakira have our little love affair happening, and it's perfect. It's perfect. Me and her work really well together, and um, I feel like she really gets me. And so I can't even imagine not being on her team anymore to even think of what it would be like on Adams. Right. And so now, what was one thing she maybe mentored you on for this specific song? Well, um, well, just to really find the connection in it, to really find something, you know, something that it, it can have meaning for you. And that's so important with any music that you do. Yeah. Right. And so now you also performed in a group number. You guys did Diamonds, a bunch of the divas on stage. I love Rihanna, so that was so much fun, absolutely. Is she one of your idols, would you say? She's somebody I want to party with. Yeah. I want to like go hang out with her. <laughs> that, that, that's what, when I see Rihanna, I'm like, she has like the most incredible music, and yeah. all her songs are like um, ballads with a dance track. I, I don't know. They're like great, amazing songs, and she always is so free. And she, just what she gives is so free, and that is something to admire. And so now, when you perform in a group number on stage, would you say that that's a little easier than doing it solo, or well, how would you compare the two? Oh, it's way easier. You have your support from your girls, and I really, really love those girls that I was on stage with. So um, it just felt like a whole bunch of support and a whole bunch of love. It, it was. I really love doing those. And did you also feel comfortable doing Usher's song? I know you said it's a little nerve-wracking while you're in front of him, but do you think you nailed it? Do you think you you felt comfortable enough with it? You know what? I think that I made it so much. Um, I turned it around and made it like my own song, and that's the only way you can do it. Because if I tried to sing it like Usher, I would have been nervous and making sure that I did everything that he did. But when you really just, you know, switch it up a little bit and then relate it to something completely different, then the nerves kind of go away. And lastly, would you ever do a Blake Shelton song? <laughs> I would. I love would. country music. Yeah, no, I really would. I, I love country music, so yes. That's awesome. And tell us about your outfit tonight. I love it. It's very cool. It's a unique little, I feel like, chic design you got going on. I love a jumpsuit, and um, the, the the fashion department here does a great job with us. Oh, fashion. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.